So so let's get we'll... back to the garage a little bit because I have kind of one more question for you. I think oh. this is going to help a lot of people. Kind of warned you before the show that this question was coming. It's the race deck versus Swiss tracks, uh, you know, commentary. You've had both. You've had some experiences with both companies. So walk us yeah. through what you think of each one and uh, maybe help some people out here. All right. Well, uh, I've talked to my lawyer and I'm able to give my opinion <laughs> without fear of any kind of legal repercussions. But no, I'm just kidding. Um, I love that race deck floor I had. It was striking. I, I went with the gray, black, red. Uh, combination and I was very very happy with that but uh, mm-hmm. I have this like I I don't know about you guys but I'll admit I need people to like my stuff and right. a very well a great friend of mine from Saskatchewan I don't know if you guys know Sean Gulliter I know yep. Bucky does Gully's Garage good guy so this, he he's an obsessed garage guy like mm-hmm. way more obsessed than me <laughs> he is and uh he just hates making videos. If he could make my videos, mm-hmm. boom, he'd be he'd be huge. Um, but he came and visited once, and he walked in, and he just, oh, he's stopped. here. He just was like, oh, oh, in the house. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there we go. He's here. Sean is in the house. That's funny. Well, Sean, what did you say? What did you say when you walked right into my garage for the first time without even saying hello? He must have said, "Get Swiss tracks." <laughs> what's this peasant floor you have yeah. I'll give him a second to see if he can uh, if he can yeah. remember what he said and then I'll tell you what he said oh there it is where you can post it up I don't see it oh, he well he called it janky <laughs> there it is <laughs> janky oh yeah, yeah that's, that's Matt's signature word too yeah that's that's funny. <laughs> so it was the only floor I'd known but he just felt like it just you could it just didn't have the same quality feel underfoot that his did. Yeah. And uh it was around that time I was getting a bit bored of that color scheme and I wanted to go for something a little more muted, a little more sophisticated. Mm-hmm. And so I um uh, I thought, you know what, I'm not a huge deal, but maybe race deck, you know, they'd used a lot of photos with my permission, obviously. And I thought, mm-hmm. well, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to leverage this and see if I can get a deal out of them. All right. And uh, yeah, so I was chatting with Randy. He seemed willing to work with me and I was like, oh, this is going to be amazing. And then it just sort of petered out. I just, mm-hmm. I'm not a kind of, I don't want to beg. Yeah. But I also get that you're a big shot and you've got this multi-million dollar company and you're flying jets all over the world. So I'm, I get that too, but I kind of let my ego get the better of me. And I was like, well, I'm done. Mm-hmm. And I was just going to go buy a race deck floor, look at Swiss tracks. And then this other friend of mine, like I do a lot of chats behind the scenes with garage guys. Like I get right. daily emails. Mm-hmm. And this one guy said, Hey, I just want to thank you for um, giving me your honest opinion about garages. I was, I'm going to go with Swiss tracks, but I talked with Randy who at that time was the owner and CEO of Swiss tracks. And I mm-hmm. told him about you and I said, he should talk to you. And so they, he did an email introduction Mm-hmm. And within a week, there was a Swiss tracks floor was on the way. There you go. Yep. And 22 boxes arrived in October of, I don't know, six years ago, five years ago. And uh, yeah, I was like, this is a blessing, man. Like this is, this is amazing. So no mm-hmm. strings attached. Yep. Just like, and uh, no requirements for content or anything. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Swiss tracks yep. has been amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I'm here forever and their staff seems to come and go. Right. Oh, so right. Yep. you've had this probably where you've, you've known a guy and then you haven't emailed him in a year and then you email him and then it comes back like that guy's gone. Mm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I wish I had more time to just sort of like cement these like, yeah, these I'll relationships, but yeah, they've, uh, yeah, they've been great. And now as far as the floor goes, mm-hmm. it's thicker. Mm-hmm. If you hold the tile, one looks mass produced. One looks like it is almost hand chiseled from marble. Right. Like there just really is a, I don't know. I don't want to offend anybody, but like mm-hmm. there's, there's the Volkswagen, there's the Audi, and then there's the Porsche. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's Volkswagen to Porsche. Yeah. The big but jump. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. For the price difference, 
for some people, it might make way more sense to just go with the race deck. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't owe anyone any allegiance. I don't feel I do. So there's friends of mine. There's a, there's a friend in Minnesota who was looking at both and we were chatting back and forth and he said for the $600, $700 difference, and he's got two twin boys who are two years old. I'm like, dude, go with the race deck. Yeah. I, I worked with the race deck. If you're if your objective is just to keep your floor that you're walking on dry, mm -hmm. they'll both right. work really well. So here's a good question from Sean. When it comes to cleaning, <laughs> now I've, I've noticed the, the race decks are a little stickier when it comes to taking them apart. Swiss tracks kind of pop off a little easier. How's uh you know, does clean come into the the way in the decision. Yeah. He's, he's being a little facetious here because him and I have fielded this question hundreds of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's right. The thick mud. Um, that's interesting. You say that Jamie, I'll answer your question in a second, but did you find that the, the connections between the race deck yes. tiles were stronger than the Swiss tracks? Yes. And there's going to be more race deck in your garage. That's so that's more to struggle with, you know, because Swiss tracks are bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's times where I drag my Swiss tracks out onto the driveway and things snap apart that I don't want to snap apart. Had that yeah. happen. Yep. And I'm like, Argh. and then with <laughs> race deck, I, I could like reef a panel apart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. So, it, <laughs> so yeah, it kind of. There's good and bad good about here. both. It's, I won't even talk to someone from like Tennessee about it because like, you're probably vacuuming up bugs and dust. Mm -hmm. But like if you're in Canada and you're in anywhere in Canada, except maybe Vancouver, yep. that salt or sorry, this, the, the, the snow that comes in under your vehicle that is full of gravel and salt and whatever else it hits mm -hmm. your floor and there's no epoxy that can magically keep it clean. There's no tile system. Mm -hmm. So if, if like, I want to ask like and Sean and I, we always get feedback. I'm sure you do too, Alex, about like, Oh, what a waste of time. There's no way I would do that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, what self-cleaning floor solution have you developed buddy that? Yeah. <laughs> and it's usually someone who deals with rain. Yeah. Like dude, rain, that's nothing. Mm -hmm. So uh, pulling floors out, vacuuming underneath, power washing. If you don't want to do that, then don't even be on a garage website. Don't follow ga garage guys. Like, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I, I still have patience for those questions, but I don't know for how many more years before I just like, listen, <laughs> if you don't want to clean your garage, don't clean your garage, you lazy slob. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, and it doesn't uh, take that much effort to pull it out either, you know, to clean it. It's, you know, you can make it an all day thing if you want, but if you, Need to exactly. just you know, even if yeah, you can do it by yourself, if you've proven, oh, yeah. but oh, yeah. um, you know, have a buddy over, hang out, you know, pick mm -hmm. the floor out, clean it up, like it's great. Well, yeah, do people, people, I'm sure some people complain about having to mow their lawn every week. Oh, probably. And then there's other guys that can't wait to get up and mow their lawn. Yeah. And yeah. I, I don't know if I just grew up this way, but I loved the jobs that my dad forced me to do. Mm -hmm. He didn't really even have to force me to do them. I took pride in mowing the lawn from the age of twelve. I mm -hmm. shovel a driveway now and I still enjoy it. I got to get the lines perfect. Like, yep. but if you're not like that, then don't get any kind of floor in your garage. Cause it's going to deteriorate. Cause like, I don't know about you, Alex, but the, I, I don't, I don't know many people in Canada who have had an epoxy floor that lasted five years. I've, I haven't had anybody like, you know, it's, it, even if you don't have anything on it, just the temperature changes is enough to yep. mess it up. Yep. You, know, and you don't and even have to drop coming up it. from the underneath the pad, mm -hmm. yeah. the salt that's on top of it, yeah, the gravel that's getting ground in. Yeah, you like exactly. part of the reason I picked the rocks out of my winter tires is so that when I drive into the garage, it doesn't scuff up. Yeah, the floor. Yeah. And that's that's a futile battle. Don't get me started <laughs> on that. Yeah, and yeah. our uh, our snow removal is uh, plows and throwing down stones. So mm -hmm. that's, yeah, and then Calgary, yeah. just a mixture of random snow juice, salty, stony muck. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you're not someone who enjoys mowing your lawn, shoveling your walk, putting up your Christmas lights, mm -hmm. I don't want to even talk to you about garage floors. Yeah, in Canada, there you go. you're out. Yeah. So I'd recently DIY epoxied mine, and it's peeling up as well because of my humidity. <laughs> 
See, there you I go. Don't know what you, I thought you were doing, you told me you were doing, I thought you were doing I'm, Swiss okay. tracks. Well, I decided, well, he had some samples. difference from the $300 yeah. epoxy yeah. kit yeah. to the Swiss well, tracks, but it's still in the, in the process. It's coming. Yeah, but I decided I, to, let's quickly throw some epoxy on here. I hired my buddy Casey. I, I have to say his side is peeling up a little, little, little more. So we can get <laughs> off over there on Wait the right. Come on, Casey. Casey, Casey got yeah, take that, man. Casey, but you know he's the only one who'll show up and help me. But yeah. yeah, so Swiss tracks is definitely the way I'm probably going to go. Eventually, we'll get there. Yeah.